Yeah. yeah. I bet she see me swerving in the lot with right. the pot. We right. could run it, put them numbers on the clock. I'm a juggernaut, sitting pretty if I juggernaut. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Mars5 back with another video. And today I have an emoting story time for you guys. And this story time is about the time I got a perm on my hair. So without further ado, but actually, 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 before we get into the story time, embarrassing story time, if I have to say so myself, don't forget to go in the description down below and hit that subscribe button while you're at it, man. Go ahead and show some of that crazy love that you guys have been showing me for the past month. Ever since I started YouTube, I've been getting crazy love from you guys. But I'm talking too much. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe, and let's get right into it, man. So this particular story time takes me back to freshman. I mean, to when I was a freshman in the high school. So not too far back, but a couple months ago. You guys know what I'm saying. So this story time happened on a Monday, so already my day wasn't going as I typically expected it because everyone hates Mondays because Mondays are just ass. So I went to school not knowing that my day was going to turn out to be shit. So when I came home, you know, I ran right upstairs, went back on my laptop, you know, watch YouTube videos, Pretty Boy Fredo. You guys get the drift. Pretty Boy Fredo's got though. But I came downstairs. And this was nighttime, guys. So the next day was school because after Monday is Tuesday. You know, that's the that's the that's the week schedule. You guys know what I'm saying? So my mom called me downstairs, and this is where I probably shouldn't have even came downstairs. I probably just said fuck you. Mom. I just don't disrespect. Me. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But my mom called me downstairs and she asked me, do I want to soften up my hair? And I probably should have asked, what does she mean by soften up her hair? Because I didn't know that the next day I would get my ass roasted in school. So I said, fuck it, dude. Why not, man? Why not? But first off, you should never let your mom touch your hair. Neither should your dad. Neither should you let your dad cut your hair. Neither. I mean, look at look at his hair. I mean, if your dad has good hair, good for him. But if your dad has like my dad kind of hair, hell to the no. I'm not gonna let him touch my hair. So my mom went to the bathroom and she picked out this huge ass tub of perm gel. Like a per it was like a perm kit, like the ones that are at the stores and stuff. So she got one of those and she brought it out. Not even read what was on the label. I was just sitting there, you know, ready to get my hair all soft and stuff and like shake it and all that crap. But soon after, when she started rubbing the cream in my hair, and let me tell you, it started to burn. It felt like acid was being poured on my head. And like my whole brain was being melted from the outside in. You guys get what I'm saying? But once she was done rubbing the cream in my hair, she had washed it out. And it burned even more when she washed it out because she let it sit in my hair way too long. She didn't even probably read what the instructions told her to say. So that's another part where she fucked up at. So that's like, what, uh, number two where she fucked up at? So after she was done washing out the perm, gel, cream, whatever you want to call it, in my hair, she and my brother, because my brother got the same thing, but his hair turned out correct though, my brother and my mom started laughing their asses off. And I, I, was, I was curious. I wanted to know why they were laughing. So I got up, you know, I went to the bathroom. That's where I know I fucked up. And I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know how I was going to take this to school. How I was going to take this bougie ass, sheet looking ass hair on my head to school. Because I knew that the next day I was going to get roasted. So I didn't typically know what to do with this situation because I've never been in this situation. So I was in panic mode. I had to turn, I had to do something. So I ran straight out the house. I went all the way up, uh, up the street to my uh, friend's house because he has big hair and he uses the twist sponge thing. If you guys don't know what that looks like, it looks like this right here. And I tried calling him too, but he didn't answer his phone. And then I remembered that he was at his mother's house all the way in another state. So. That's third strike that I fucked up at too. So keep in mind that tomorrow is Tuesday and I have school on Tuesday. So I ran back to the house and I begged, begged, begged my mom to let me stay in the house. And at first I thought she said no, but then when 
I came home from Swan Tuesday, I asked her, why didn't she let me stay? And she said, I did say you can stay and you must have misheard me. So I basically fucked myself over. But let me elaborate more on what happened during school. So I went to sleep that night knowing I was going to get freaking roasted so freaking bad that I would probably cry and hit. So disregard that hint. But I went to sleep, woke up the next day, I forgot I had this sheep Donald Trump head hair on my head as I was brushing my teeth doing my daily routine, you guys know. So I threw on a hoodie and I kept, I tried to keep that thing on the whole day. When I mean the whole day, I mean the whole day. Not even taking it off when the teacher told me to take it off, man. So I knew I had to put on the hoodie before I left the house, which is what I did. So I went on my way to school, knowing that I'll get my fucking ass roasted the fuck out of. So I wasn't ready for it, guys. <laughs> So I got on the bus and already my friend noticed that something was wrong and then he pulled off my freaking hoodie and just busted out laughing. Like when I'm busting out laughing, I mean like, like the coyotes and the Lion King type laughing. And I tried to laugh at his too, you know, trying not to give a fuck. So I gave him a little fake laugh, you know, a little <laughs> type of laugh and just put my hoodie back on tight so that nobody could try to pull it off again. So I entered my school and went to the gym where all the freshmen just like me went into. And uh oh, I forgot to tell you my dumbass posted a Snapchat that my mom fucked up my hair so I basically just fucked myself over. Strike four, already posting that on Snapchat. And if you don't already follow me on Snapchat, go ahead and follow the kid on Snapchat. You know, that'll be, descri that'll be in the description below. Uh, if you don't look at the description, just, you know, listen to my sex ass voice. And uh, my Snapchat is at U double H N A T H A N I E L. If you don't know how to spell, that's at U H H N A T H A N I E L. Uh, Nathaniel, you feel me? Follow the boy. Uh, self plug. So, back on topic. I walked into the freshman gym and I went to the corner. Nobody usually looks, but this time I forgot I put a Snapchat on, and basically all of my friends walked straight up to me in the corner that nobody even goes to, except for all the weird kids. So just about all my friends went over to me and kept telling me to take off my hoodie, and eventually I showed them just a little tip of my hair, and they were already in shock because they saw, because they thought like they seen a ghost or something. So I kept it on to the bell rang, and when the bell rang, I heard as, as soon as I heard that. I dashed my ass upstairs like you same bolt right into my first period. And even when I walked in, my teachers that were sitting at their desk looked up because I was the first kid in there. And they were already in shock because they forced me or they would send me to uh, BIP to take off my hoodie. So I had to take it off. And all my classmates came in class. And as soon as they turned, they looked at me and boom, bada bing, they were all laughing at me because of my freaking hair, man my freaking hair so that was basically my second period and third period too but before i go to third period i go to lunch so i was waiting in line almost everyone in line was telling me to take it off and one of my friends once again threw my hoodie off and started flaming my ass and guess what guys guess what guess what guess what Put it, in the, put it in the comment description i mean comment description put it in the comment box what you guys think who was in line Yes, if you guessed it, yes, you're correct. My old crush was right there. <sighs> I can't even. I can't even. I can't even. But I didn't even notice my crush was a couple a couple people in front of me. She was so small that I didn't even notice her because I was too focused on the guys roasting on me. So I glanced at her with my hoodie on and she was in shock and instantly turned back around. And even the other girls were shocked to look at my hair too. So I got more embarrassed because my old crush saw my hair too. And girls I don't even talk to saw my hair too so that's what strike 26 i don't even know I, I i lost count but basically the roasting started after i got my food and i entered the lunchroom man let me tell you when i sat down all the juniors all the seniors all the freshmen started laughing and framing flaming my shit dude especially the basketball team look this is how the basketball team basically worked Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my 
like at the top of his head. <laughs> like at his lips. <laughs> yeah, so basically I couldn't even take any more and I, I started crying guys. I'm not I, I'm not finna be a big guy here. I started bawling my eyes out, man. I was crying rivers out this bit. So that's how bad it was. So I just told everyone to fuck off and leave me the fuck alone. And I just couldn't put up with this hair no more. So basically, that was the rest of my day. But as soon as I got on the bus and got home, I went straight to the barber shop and got me a little fade and a little crisp crisp to make it look somewhat better. And the next day is for another story time. But I hope you guys did enjoy this story time. And if this story time made you laugh or even put a smile on your beautiful face, please show some love and smash that like button. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too, man. Let's grow this family some more. I love you guys, man. Thanks for watching. Marzaronis. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I've been smoking and drinking too much, baby girl, could you mind me your name? She wanna fuck with a nigga cause she see that I'm almost famous